My name is Raymond Foy. I'm the curator of this exhibition called Structuring Light. And it's a work of three painters from New York, all of whom have been working for the past 40, 50, and 60 years, respectively. The combination of three artists together that Raymond uh, curated and chose and asked us all to participate, and the installation of the exhibition, where we start with Paul in the window space, which is the first thing that you see if you walk by or drive by, and then you it flows into my watercolors, which are up front, and then into this room, and then um, the large painting, which has kind of an organic movement and drawing, flows into the second room, which is Joanna Pusat Dart, whose work is also sort of flows in a similar, you know, in way, very organic, and then from that room you flow into Paul Mogensen, which brings it back, so it's like a big circle. So I think the installation and the three of us work really well together. Art is very much a, a dialogue, you know, artists are having a conversation with other artists, both living and dead. And you're working with art history, but you're also working with uh, the moment, and what is your moment, and uh, the zeitgeist, and what can you add to that tradition, how do you challenge it. Uh, this is Joanna Pousset Dard, uh, one of the artists in this exhibition. Yesterday we went to the Musée de Beaux-Arts to look at the uh, Netherlandish paintings and um, you were talking about how those paintings are built up with layers of uh, color and glazes and how that um, achieves a luminosity that, that um, appeals to you very much. Can you say something about that in relation to your, to your own work? Uh, um, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> I, I adore Netherlandish painting, and um, one of the things I love about it is the complexity of the light and um, the luminosity, as you just said, and the, I'm very much involved in my own work with building up things um, slowly, uh, many layers, uh, having colors have overtones and undertones, having them move from one side of the canvas to the other, um, in and out of warm and cold, you know, color ranges, um, light and dark, so that it gives a sense of, in a sense, you know, nat some, something to do with nature. I mean, the, the paintings are very much to do with nature. Can you say something about the, your relationship with with color, it's certainly of the most mystical of um, properties in painting, would you say? If I do think about choices, I try to work with um, surprise and uh, making unexpected moves, because it's only within the unexpected that you can create something outside of what is known and, cre and, and delve into something that hasn't been experienced before. I try to I stay away from um, color that is too maybe illustrative because again illustration is something that we it's in the realm of the understood and the known and uh, as an artist I'm always trying to push uh, that boundary um, of what of what is unknown try to move into that space well we were talking about uh, the kind of mystical uh, qualities of color there's also mystical qualities of numbers aren't there of course yeah yeah and um, I often think that uh, contemporary art is a very specialized field, the way mathematics or science yeah. is. Yeah, you could be put into a compartment, because actually it's more universal than that. You know? yes. Most people don't know it, think it as something special, but when you're in the middle of it, it's not. You know? Yes. Yeah. How do you feel when you see your work in a gallery? I always think it must be so strange to be an artist to it's make it. It's very strange. Because you make it alone and suddenly you're in a gallery with it and there are other people and you're standing next well, to Well, I make it to be shown, Yes. but it's strange to see it shown. So, yes. Yeah. It, 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 it's in a very different context, a very public one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kierkegaard said he liked to publish because it made him realize his mistakes. Do you ever have that kind of feeling in an exhibition? I never look back on anything. Yeah. Oh, that's a good policy. Yeah. <laughs>